Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today I will talk about different techniques of IVF. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So in our last lecture, I have already talked about in vitro fertilization or IVF, and I discussed about the steps of IVF as well as the applications of IVF. So if you want to check that video you can the link is in the description box today i'll talk about different techniques of ivf so mainly there are six techniques of ivf those are zygote intrafallopian transfer or zift intrauterine transfer or iut gamete intrafallopian transfer or gift intracytoplasmic sperm injection or icsi artificial insemination or ai intrauterine insemination or iui now i will talk about them one by one first is zift so in this case the zygote is created outside a women's body in the laboratory and the early embryo that is up to 8 blastomeres embryo is then transferred into the fallopian tube of the women next technique is iu uh, iut okay so here again the zygote is created outside the women's body in the laboratory this process is same but here the late embryos are chosen like the embryos with more than 8 blastomeres are chosen and these are then transferred into the fallopian tube of the women. Next process is gift. So in this case the ovum is collected from the donor. Why donor? Since the mother cannot generate healthy ovum and hence the ovum uh, is required to be collected from a donor. But the father is healthy here. The father is producing the healthy sperm. So this collected ovum is transferred into the fallopian tube of the uh, would-be mother. And the sperm are healthy. So internal fertilization is possible inside the women's body. And it leads to pregnancy. Next process is icsi so here the male partner is unable to inseminate the female or very low sperm counts in the ejaculates so ovum is collected from the female partner and the sperm is directly injected into the ovum outside the women's body in the laboratory so basically this technique is assisting the uh, fertilization of ova uh, by the sperm uh, that is not possible inside the women's body and the zygote is created in this way and the embryos are then transferred into the female's body next process is ai here again the male partner is unable to inseminate the female or very low sperm counts in the ejaculates so in this case again the semen is collected from the male partner and the semen is artificially introduced either into the vagina or into the uterus and uh, this process is known as intrauterine insemination or iui and then internal fertilization occurs inside the women's body and pregnancy occurs so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video